you were an AIG executive, would you accept a bonus this year? No. Why is that? Because they don't deserve it. <laughs> Probably. Why? I would feel entitled. Maybe I did the work. You know, it's a part of the arrangement. I would not. If, if I could do anything, I would return the money. And if I couldn't return it to AIG, I would accept it and give it to charitable causes. No, I would not accept the bonus. Considering the fact there is a downturn and the fact that we had to bail them out, meaning the taxpayers. Representative Barney Frank uh, said that maybe it's time some people should be fired. Since the federal government now effectively owns AIG, should Congress be able to do that? Uh, I'm not for the nationalization of the industries, but I do believe there has to be accountability. I don't know. I can't see what action they can really take. I think so. Um, you know, you can't just go, go cutting heads off, though. I mean, um, it needs to be done in, a, in the right way. Yes, they need to clean house. Clean them all out. Get out all these crooks. Of the $100 billion that AIG was given, over half of it went to foreign banks to pay off debt. Should taxpayer money essentially go to bailing out foreign banks? Well, I don't view that as a bailout. I view that as, assuming this is exactly what happened, uh, as fulfilling their obligations to repay debt. No, definitely not. Taxpayers' money has other jobs to do. One of the large banks fails in Europe. It will have consequences in the U.S. And if one fails here, it will have consequences all, all, all over the world.